Well, hello, fellow film fans, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tyler's Real Movie Talk. And in this video, I'm going to discuss whether or not Thanos is the best comic book villain of all time, the comic book movie villain of all time, excuse me. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think about that and why I think what I think. So obviously, in this video, there will be spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. You have been warned. If you have not seen that movie yet, definitely click off this video, go to your theater, see that movie, and then come back and join in on the discussion when you have seen it. But before we get into all that, I do gotta say, if you're a fan of movie talk, movie reviews, and really everything of that nature, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below, which will notify you anytime I have any new content coming out. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into this. So is Thanos the best comic book movie villain of all time? And personally, I think yes, he is. And really, the only villain that could come close to him is Heath Ledger's Joker. But why is Thanos the best comic book villain of all time? Well, let me tell you, because obviously, it, I think it's obvious, hands down, he is the best Marvel Cinematic Universe villain of all time. And look, you know, Loki's up there, so is Killmonger, but they just did not bring the same stakes that Thanos does. You know what I mean? Like, you did not feel the same stakes in the first Avengers mo movie, or even in Black Panther, that you do in Avengers Infinity War, because Thanos is just that strong, he's that powerful. And really, one of the things I really enjoy about Thanos is how flexible out the character is you tell what he wants you know why he wants it he gives that all to you in this movie and this is really his film look avengers was not loki's film black panther was not killmonger's film in fact killmonger did not very did not have very much screen time in black panther Thanos has a ton of screen time in avengers infinity war more screen time really than any of the avengers do so that's why he's the best MCU villain of all time. Now, the best comic book movie villain of all time, let me tell you why I personally think Thanos is that. Look, I'm not saying that Josh Brolin's performance is up there with Heath Ledger's. It's not. Heath Ledger's performance is absolutely iconic. It'll go down in history as probably the best comic book movie villain performance and maybe even the best comic book movie performance of all time. So let's just get that out of the way. Josh Brolin does not put together the same performance as Heath Ledger's, even though Brolin's performance is very, very good. So with that out of the way, why is Thanos better than the Joker, in my opinion? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one is, like I said earlier, how fleshed out the villain is. Look, the Joker in the Dark Knight is really just crazy to be crazy. I mean, that's who he is in the comics. That's who he is in the Dark Knight. You know what I mean? There's no, you don't really flesh out who he is very much, and there's really not much to who he is. But Thanos, there is a lot to who he is, and it fleshes it out perfectly. You know, even when he tells Gamora, you know, I'm doing this because look what happened. I've seen that wiping out half the population can work. You know, when you were a kid and I went to your world, you were you were scavenging for scraps and you were trying to get food and it was hard for you. And then when I wiped out half of that world's population, it's no nothing but paradise. Everyone goes to bed on a full stomach. Everyone's living in paradise. So it fleshes that out really well, and you know, like, like, um, not like the Joker, he definitely, he's not evil just to be evil, you see what he means, he feels like he's the hero of his own story, I do not feel like we got that sense of that from the Joker, that he's the hero of that story, or that he even thinks he is, you know what I mean? But Thanos, you definitely do get that connection, and he definitely isn't evil just to be evil. I mean, he shows it numerous times when he doesn't kill Star-Lord, when Gamora's right there, you know? He doesn't want to put Gamora through that hurt. And then when he's with Gamora, and she's about to, the kid Gamora, and she's about to look at everyone being slaughtered, and he basically blocks it with his hand, basically saying, no, 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 don't look at that. Look at this knife. Look, at, Try to balance it as all things should be balanced. They flesh Thanos out so well in this film, and he just doesn't feel like a bad guy. You know, that's how they made him seem. He just doesn't feel like a bad guy. Even when he tells Gamora, you know, everything needs to be balanced, and I'm the only one with the will to act upon it. And he even tells Doctor Strange later on in the movie, you know, the hardest decisions require the strongest of wills. And he believes what he is doing is right so much so that he kills his own daughter that you could tell he has a soft spot for very much. He kills her because that's a sacrifice he had to make and that is how much he believes he is correct is that he makes that sacrifice. And also one of the great things about Thanos is, you know, he has honor among him. We see in that battle on Titan before he's about to kill Tony Stark, he tells him, I respect you, Stark. And, you know, he tries to comfort him by telling him, 
when all this is done, I promise you half of humanity will still exist. You know what I mean? And that is just a great villain to have honor amongst them. We really haven't seen villains like that that have that type of honor among them that, you know, he's willing to tell the hero, I respect you. I respect where you're coming from. And because of that, I'm going to keep half of humanity alive. I thought that was great, and I loved that, you know what I mean? I just love that he's not evil just to be evil. You see every side and every aspect of where he's coming from and why he thinks the way he does, and it truly is great, and I just have to give a congratulations to the Russo brothers because they promised to deliver on Thanos in this movie. They did, and like I said, I think he is the best comic book movie villain of all time so far, and I really can't wait to see what's next for him in Avengers Infinity War. Now, also, one more reason why he's the best comic book movie villain of all time, because he actually defeats the heroes. He wins, and I just can't remember a villain defeating the hero in a comic book movie for the life of me. I just can't look. In The Dark Knight, the Joker does not defeat Batman. Now, does he get to him emotionally? Yes, he does, but he does not defeat Batman one-on-one, -on -one, and you really never get the sense that he really could if they got in a huge fight. You know, he can't beat Batman, but in this movie, you could see the Avengers, when they go up against Thanos, they are helpless. Even the Incredible Hulk is is totally helpless at the beginning of that film because he just gets his ass handed to him by Thanos and that's what makes Thanos so great look he believes what he's doing he has honor among him and he totally beats the heroes which is really the first time I can remember that happening in a comic book movie but that's what I think guys that's why I believe Thanos is the best comic book movie villain of all time definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys agree or disagree with my thinking and why or why not and if you like this video be sure to click that thumbs up and share it around with all your friends but with all that out of the way Thank you for watching.